Good health to you, fellow Ukrainians. The day of December 13th was very fruitful for Ukraine in different aspects. We have very good news from France. Two conferences in support of Ukraine were held there. Their first result is 1 billion euros in aid to our resilience, primarily energy. Every day we gain new strength for Ukraine to get through this winter, and I thank everyone who works for this and who helps our state. We also have decisions from other countries besides France, the Czech Republic, Spain, Switzerland to provide additional support packages. The Italian Senate passed a decision on armed support. Norway is preparing a new program to support our state and people. I took part in both conferences in Paris on December 13. The first concerned to a greater extent our interstate relations. The second forum was focused on French business. Ukrainian government officials presented French entrepreneurs with opportunities to invest in Ukraine already now, when the war is still going on, and after our victory. We also discussed what we can do additionally to strengthen our state at the European level. On December 13th in France, the First Lady of Ukraine presented humanitarian projects to our partners. What can be done as quickly as possible to support our people in the field of healthcare, education and humanitarian aid in particular through Olena's foundation. And I'm grateful to all the French for their support of Ukraine. Not only political, not only defense and sanctions, which is vitally important, but also for the fact that we equally perceive the need to protect the value of human life, human dignity and the humanitarian opportunities that the modern world gives to everyone. I spoke with President of the European Council Charles Michel. I thanked for the decision regarding 18 billion euros for Ukraine next year and for increasing the European Peace Facility by 2 billion euros. These funds can greatly help us maintain social stability. I am also preparing to participate in the meeting of the European Council on December 15th. I addressed the Parliament and people of New Zealand, a country that has fundamentally supported us since the first weeks of full-scale Russian aggression. I have told about our peace formula, about the special summit that we are convening to implement our formula. And I called on New Zealand to take the lead in supporting at the international level one of the clauses of the peace formula, the one related to environmental security and demining. New Zealand is one of those countries that understands that the destruction of the natural environment is equal to the destruction of life and that can help the diplomatic mobilization of its region in order to implement the Ukrainian peace formula. And one more thing. On December 13th I signed the law adopted by the Verkhovna Rada on the liquidation of the District Administrative Court of Kiev. This story is over, and the story of reforms continues, continues even during such a war. Thank you to everyone who works for Ukraine. Thank you to everyone who is fighting for our independence, who is currently at the front, who is currently struggling. We support you, we strongly believe in you. Glory to all our warriors, glory to our indomitable people, glory to Ukraine.